And here in Ohio, the overturning of Roe v. Wade sparked both relief and outrage, but it also left many confused about what is actually legal. Two News reporter Riley Phillips is joining us live here in the studio with team coverage to explain where abortion rights stand in Ohio now. Riley? Right now, abortion is still legal in the state of Ohio up to 21 weeks and six days. A stricter ban was put on hold by a judge back in September. Advocates for abortion rights say they're continuing to fight against the ban, but those against abortions are hopeful the ban will stand. This has been a tumultuous year, to say the least. The conversation surrounding abortion grew even more intense and heated after Roe v. Wade was overturned last year. But in Ohio, advocates on both sides of the issue have been navigating different challenges. Since the Dobbs decision, abortions have increased in the state of Ohio. According to Planned Parenthood, one of the state's largest provider of abortions and reproductive health. Danielle Fiersick, the public policy director for Planned Parenthood of Greater Ohio, says a large part of the increase is due to the number of people from surrounding states coming to Ohio for an abortion. We right now are in the middle of a ton of states that have heavily restricted abortion or outright banned it. Obviously, those people need somewhere to go. They're going to go to the closest state they possibly can. And right now in the Midwest, um, Ohio, Michigan, some of the only options for people for the entire center of the country. Abortions are still legal in the state up to 21 weeks and six days, like it was before Roe v. Wade was overturned. Despite abortions still being legal, Margie Christie, the executive director of Dayton Right to Life, says they've seen more women requesting their services. So in the summer, we our numbers went through the roof. Um, and that was great for us because I think when women um, go for an abortion, that's really their only choice. So when they didn't have that option, so they really did explore their resources. Christy says they've been working over the last year to show women they can handle pregnancy and provide support along the way through initiatives like their mobile pantries. Sometimes internally we feel like we coerce ourselves because we say we can't afford it or we can't do it, we're not ready when really we don't give ourselves that much credit. And advocates for abortion rights are only ramping up their fight a year later, pushing voters to show up for an abortion amendment in November. This essentially puts this power right back to the voters who will be able to make their own decision about their own pregnancy um, up to a point of viability established by medical professionals, not by legislators. And the fate of abortion rights will remain up in the air for a little while longer. The state Supreme Court is expected to take up the heartbeat bill within the next few months. Abortion rights advocates have less than two weeks left to gather signatures to put the abortion amendment on the ballot in November. Issue one, which will be voted on in August, will determine how much support that abortion amendment needs to receive in order for it to pass. In the studio, Riley Phillips, 2 News.